Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the various concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding weather type in each country and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in an interview called of 0.72 in the last couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. So we are given a table called countries with two different columns, country ID and country name, where country ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID and the name of the country. Okay, we are also given another table called weather with three different columns, country ID, weather straight on a particular date, right? The combination of country ID and day is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates the weather state in a country for one day. So for a particular date, what was the weather state? We are asked to write a SQL query to find the type of weather in each country for November 2019. So we are given a particular duration in which we need to calculate the type of weather. And the definition of type of weather is if the average weather state is less than or equal to 15, then it is cold. If the average weather state is greater than or equal to 25, it is hot and warm otherwise. So basically, if the average weather state is greater than 15 and less than 25, then it is warm. Return the results in any order. Let's go through this example. So here we are given the country's table, so country ID and the name of the country. And then there's, here is the weather table, right? So if the output did not ask us to include the name of the country, we didn't even need this table, right? So the only reason we need this table is that for each of these IDs, country IDs, we also know that, okay, which country does it belong to, right? So you see, this is the first thing that we should do. We should merge these two tables, that is join these two tables. We are more important on calculating the weather and the type of weather. So we should keep this on the left side and this on the right side, right? So let me just start by joining. So from weather table and let's alias it as W, left join countries table, alias as C on, on what column we are joining? W dot country id is equal to the c dot country id okay so what this basically will do so for each of these rows it will take okay so two two means usa 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 three australia 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 a fourth column will be added here right so similarly it will do for all this but we remember we only are interested in November of 2019. So we need to include rows like these October, October, December, October, right? December. So things like that. So we filter out some of the rows. So where the month from the day column should be equal to November, that is 11 and the year from the day column should be 2019 right so this will exclude all these kind of rows now what do we need to do average weather state right so we need to calculate the average weather state for each of the country ids so what we do we need to do group by the country ids so group by w dot country id and then we need to return the same then we need to return what so for even though we are grouping by country id or we can even group by the country name because for each of the country id we have uh, like associated country name as well so since if i group by country id I will have to include country ID here, right? So because the problem with group by is the column that you are grouping by, you can only return that 
or an aggregate function or an aggregate calculation based on that. You cannot group by one column and return the other column, right? But since we need to return the name of the country, so we, sh we should go ahead and group by the country name. Country name belongs to which table? Countries table, right? So C dot country name. Then you return the same thing, C dot country name. And then we need to calculate the average weather, right? So how do we calculate the average weather? And here we have three different cases, right? So obviously three different cases means a good way of using case when then statements. So case when average of what should uh, we need to calculate the average of weather state. So average of weather state uh, you can also write since weather state is from the weather table uh, w dot weather state but we only do that uh, because you know if if the columns in two different tables have same name so just for you know uh, we, we avoid confusions like if uh, if some, some of you are beginners and you are thinking like why have i alias i use the alias in some of the columns and not using here we can do that does not matter right the thing that you need to keep in mind is if two different tables have same com uh, same column name so for example country id then i will have to specifically specify what i need to return but if they don't have same column names so country name weather state so there is only one country name weather state day right so we can directly return that as well okay so when average of weather state is less than or equal to 15 then what do we need to return cold right second case is when average of w dot weather state is greater than or equal to 25 then it is hot warm otherwise so else warm and since always remember when we when we start a case statements we end is as well so end as and what is the name of the column that we need to return weather type so end as weather type so yeah, this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see if this gets accepted. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases. Um, this is how we solve these kind of questions. Let me know if you guys found this video useful and I will see you guys in the next video.